much it though. So we are finally ready to give Cherenkov his steaming molten pile of curry. How the hell is it still steaming after all this time? Use the lift. Yes, I will. So let's uh, head into here. And this is where Cosmos is hanging out next to the eggs. Because she's also a... Yeah, he's still shaking. Whoa. Dude. You. Oh, um, I didn't see you in your room. I did check, I, too. I thought you might be a little hungry. He's, uh, he's in the south room, by the way. What were you doing? Yeah, what were you doing, dude? I was looking at her. With a gun. At Cosmos? With a gun in your hand? Holy crap, she ends up Oh, observing. this, it's a bad habit. Oh, bullshit. I see. Well, you are a soldier after all. I know someone with a habit like that. He's what? always carrying a sword around with a weird grin plastered on his face. Don't talk Don't about you your brother like that. Don't you think that's dangerous? Uh, yeah. That's definitely dangerous. I think Cherenkov is thinking that So this is the about. android that can take on the Gnosis. About Margulis. She sure doesn't look like it. Oh, she's pretty. You cute. Yeah. Stop thinking about her that way, Cherenkov. She's not built for that. That's not the kind of battle that we want. But, regardless of what she looks like, she's still a weapon. I suppose you're right. Before we left the Woglinde, what was his name? Lieutenant Virgil? He was killed by this android's battle algorithm, wasn't he? He was. It was kind of sad. I'm not trying to blame you. Logic, reason, they can bring about death. Happen all the time. I never thought she would ever do something like that. You programmed her basic logic architecture, right? Yes, pretty much. I always thought of her like a daughter, or more like a friend, maybe. But... I see. Well, I doubt we could have saved the lieutenant from that situation anyway. Yeah, he would have died no matter Thanks what. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. Doesn't help. Mm. I noticed you eat very neatly. Hmm? Ah, uh, that's part of who I am. At least, now, that is. What do you mean, now? So, what were you doing on the Woglinde? Espionage why, for Margulis. Why do you ask? Yeah, shut Just up. wondering. You somehow seemed different from the other crew members. I work for you, too. The Woglinde task force was assembled hastily. Besides, I'm a soldier. I'll go to where I'm assigned. Damn, he eats fast. Uh, soldier? See, that line that I've never understood. Why does she on make it sound like she didn't realize he was a soldier? She just called him a soldier. Meanwhile, at Area 66, the Rupin well, sector... looks sector. like we've lost them. Yeah, thanks to your linking directly to the main controls. <laughs> You're welcome. He didn't really thank you. Oh, I just received a UMN pulse. Preparing the long distance jump to the Federation capital of Fifth Jerusalem. Wait, uh, no, hold on. Is that the computer or her eyes? Momo, we're not going back to the subcommittee headquarters. What? Why not? Your mother hates I you. I was told to escort you to the autonomous government of Second Milsha. I'm sorry. Those were my orders. All right. Now setting course for Milshan star system. Oh, she sounds so sad. Hey, I'll take you wherever you want to go. No, I'm sorry. But no, Ziggy has no emotions. He's not susceptible to little girls like that. That sounded a lot better in my head than when I said it out loud. I'm not going to change it, though. Back at the Jedi Council. I've received word that the 100 series is on board a ship headed for Second Milsha. 
That she is. Well, that was fast. Once she's safely transferred to the UMN Control Center on 2nd Milsha, we'll finally have a little peace of mind. She'll be safe. It's all such a bother, though. It would have been so much easier to perform the analysis here. We can't decode the protection in that reallion here. We have to send her to the UMN Control Center, located at the former Vector Transfer Gate Control Facility. That's right. Besides, the entire area within a few dozen light years of Old Milsha has been sealed off ever since that incident 14 years ago. So this certainly beats traveling through regular space. You are Key Mizrahi. You really outdid yourself this time. If you remember, there was something inside Momo, some information that they wanted. Oh, don't worry about it. You're absolutely right. By the way, do you really think the Y data is hidden within that reallion? And they call it the Y data. We have conclusive evidence that she holds the code to unlock the UMN transfer gate leading to the sealed off sector. I assume they're talking about Aside Misha. from that, she's pretty much a mystery. We'll just have to open her up and see. If she doesn't have it, we'll be required to delay the Zohar project. How will we explain that to the Council? What does this have to do with the Zohar? Even if it's lost, we still have one other lead. Let me pull up my documents. What's that? This image was processed from the only remaining surveillance camera. The picture is unclear, but that boy served as Joachim's assistant. Who's Judging the from the time frame, we believe he was somehow involved with the Y data. So he knows about the data too? So Mola Where did doesn't the boy have to be involved come from? in this? The records are missing. The only information the we have is that he was 14 and studying at the University of Bormio. But even that's just second-hand information from Mizrahi. Why does that sound familiar? He got into Bormio at 14? Must have been pretty smart. You don't know what happened to him? Correct. It's currently under investigation. If he's alive, he'd be 28 years old now. I can this do research math. paper is on the secondary effects of the Hilbert wave. The Hilbert effect? Do you think there's a chance he slipped into Vector? Back when UTIC was still the Mizrahi Cerebral Sciences Research Center, Mizrahi's main patron was none other than Vector. It's Wait, certainly what? a possibility. There's no concrete evidence, of course. Dr. Mizrahi, please continue your investigation of this issue. Yes, of course. In any case, our first priority is to get access to the old Milsha sector. So they do want to old Milsha. Our hands are tied until we recover the original Zohar located there. And there's a Zohar there? The original one? Not an emulator? What do they want to do with the Zohar? So apparently all this is trying to get access to the original Zohar. Whatever that means. Whatever that does. All this stuff with Momo. Interesting. So we're back in control of Xi'an after actually not that lengthy cutscene sequence. Oh, that curry was, well, it was very good. Commander, just say thank you for dinner. All right. Thank you for dinner. You're welcome. I hope you really liked it. Uh, me, I'm just going to move on. Uh, so, Momo, for those of you not following the, the cutscenes that well, she has something called the Y data. The Y data seems to be some sort of access codes to old Milsha. Oh, hey, Miss Vector. If you're just lounging around, come to the bridge for a sec. What could it be? I wonder if something happened. Yeah, we'll probably have to deal with that. Yes, use the lift. Now, Momo has the information in order to get access to Milsha. Hey, look who's here. How you doing, Tony? I forgot his name for a second. Isn't it Tony? Yeah, Tony. It's not here. Nor there, or anywhere. Man, where the heck is it? Damn, you should be more organized. Whoever was responsible, come on out. It'd be me. I'm the one responsible. It is not the time to be doing these kinds of stupid things. Um, what? Oh, Xion, it's you. I was just looking for something. I just can't find it. How about it? You want to help out little me? 
Of course I do, Tony. Really? Shion, you're the only one... You're the one I can always count on to be there? Didn't we just get on board, like, yesterday? So, what are you looking for? It's a map of all the hazardous sectors in space. The captain went and lost it, and now he's yelling at me to find it. I figure it's got to be somewhere on this ship. A hazardous area map. Sure, I'll look for it. Thanks, you're a great help. Find it as quick as you can. I will. Is there a way? Yeah, we already went south out of here, didn't we? Uh, what he's looking for is not even close to here. I don't know why he's over here. Um, yeah, well, we don't need to do anything more in here. Uh, but you do need to do a couple things before you actually make it to the bridge. Going to the bridge, for whatever reason, is a huge deal in this game. Doesn't matter what ship you're on, is the cutoff for quite a few things. So before we get to the bridge, there's a couple things that we need to do. All of which involve me trying to get the hell out of here. And hopefully I can remember my way back up to the first floor. We can get out of the basement. Uh, once again, having done everything that doesn't require decoder keys, which we don't have. And hopefully when we get up to the save point, it will have... Do I want to go this way? Yes, I want to go this way. It will have upgraded so that we could finally use... Hey, what does this do? Emergency switch. Yeah. No, yeah, well, I'm sure it just cuts off all this stuff down here, so we don't need to do that just yet. Let's just head out of here. You don't need to blow up all that stuff again. It does not respawn the items underneath or hidden inside, however you want to phrase it. Uh, you can't get the items once you've gotten them once. That is it, even if the object that you destroy in order to get them does respawn. What was I talking? Oh, upgrades to the EVS so that we can actually use it. I do believe that it does. But first, we have a couple other things that we would, well, that we should do. Let's talk to Alan. Hey, Chief. Oh, Alan, what's the matter? Um, um, Chief, I've been thinking a lot since then. And they seem to be pretty good people. So I'm thinking of trying to meet them halfway, bit by bit. Oh, wow, Alan, I'm surprised. You're usually so hard-headed with your logic and preconceptions, so I was a little worried that you'd become like one of the Wells' aliens? One of Wells' aliens? Wells, Wells. H.G. Wells! For more of the world? Didn't... Now I'm confused. Wasn't the only thing he did with Aliens War of the Worlds? Can't say I've read all of his books, but pretty sure the Aliens in War of the Worlds didn't talk. There must be another book with Aliens in it. Good luck, bye. <laughs> oh, no, that's not it. That is my efforts. Ow. She stopped listening. And it kind of implied that she ran off even though he walked away from me. So now there's two uh, emails that I need to get here before getting on the bridge. You gotta keep track of those emails, like, separately if you want 100% this game. It's ridiculous. I think the first one is in the, yeah, here in the dining hall. It does, I don't think it matters which order that I do it in. Um, well, this is the kitchen, not the dining hall. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's on. The There's freaking blue flames right there. It's, that's on. Why would you leave the stove on? Who the hell leaves the stove on like that? I'm going to burn this whole ship to the ground. And Shut up, we're in space. That There's no ground. I know what I'm talking about. So here in the dining hall, there's the email. It does not matter whatever you get. But, here we go. This is... Kazuya Mishima sends this email about Tekken 4. Well, there's Kazuya right there in the middle of fighting. This, I know for sure, is a real game. <laughs> hey, she got one said you were foot of my last fight in the King of Iron Fist tournament. It was no match. I was far too powerful and skilled for him. Perhaps my son Jin will prove a more worthy opponent. I'll let you know, and I hope to see you again soon, Kazuya. 
They don't need to advertise this too much. It's Tekken. Uh, I never got that much into Tekken. Uh, I have played uh, Tekken Tag at arcades from time to time, but... Oh, you don't want to talk about Tekken? Yeah, you don't need to advertise Tekken too much. It's Tekken. Everybody knows Tekken. It's like advertising in Street Fighter. Fighting fan... Anybody that's really willing to buy a fighting game already knows the series. You know what I mean? You don't need to advertise too much. You're not going to get that big of a new audience through advertising Tekken that you would get without it. At least that's the way that I think about it. Uh, is it this one? The second email that we're looking for is in one of these cabins. But I can't remember if it's the south cabin or the north cabin. Um, either way, it's very difficult to reach. So, let's see. Is it here? It's, it's on the table. Like, you have to be on the table. Okay, so maybe it's not this one. We'll try the next one. And if it's not that one, then I'm going to be upset. It's, yeah, on the table. It's the weirdest thing that they would make you go out of the way for these optional emails. The ones that, right, the advertisements for the games, they're out of your way. Why would you even be in the dining room at this point? You know, you were told to go to the bridge. Why would you go back to the dining room? Oh, because Namco wants to advertise Tekken 4. You know, it doesn't always make sense to me. So the other one, like I said, you have to be t like right on the table. Tell me it's this one. Come on. It's one of these spots. Ugh. Okay. Hold on. I'll figure out which table and I'll let you know when I get it. Okay, here it is. I swore I was here before, but here it is in the south cabin. Another email for Shion. Optional, once again, because it is not important, and therefore I have to go way out of my way in order to get it. Arrival of year 4767, fall and winter items in the boutique MIG. Uh, so here you go, it's an ad for something in game, which is weird. Uh, but yeah, what are you gonna do? It's spam email. Uh, there's a confetti boutique. Um, here's the prêt porte which I, I forget what that actually means, but it's pretty much the menu. <laughs> Even though it's for just kind of stuff. What? Okay, sure. We can visit through the net. Hooray! Are we going to talk about this at all? No. Bunny does. It's like, leave me out of this. Buddy wants nothing to do with this crappy email. So that is it for what we need to do before we go on to the bridge. However, there's still a couple things that I would like to do, but in order to do that, we will need an upgrade save point. Where or where can I find a save point with the EVS on it? How about right here? go. Yes, I know about the EVS plate. It's offered by the UMN. Kind of nice. Probably won't understand a detailed explanation, so I'll explain it in layman's terms. On top of the old save function, it also activates uh, various environmental simulators. The UMN administration currently supports four kinds of game centers. We have three of those right now. They also have battlefields based on recorded battle data. That's where you go to the old uh, dungeons. Uh, there are lots of ways to play with it, so check it out. But in order to use the service, you'll need the passport for that particular service. Good luck getting them all. Uh, can I just hit this? No, that still opens up save. But if I open up just the regular menu and then go to UMN, I believe this is how you can get to it. There we go, the environmental, the environmental simulator. 
and it has the three places here. Uh, otherwise, I think we just need to use the item, uh, the actual passport in our inventory. But that is actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by our rescued squad of Xion. And I guess Cosmos, uh, Ziggy, and Momo. But Ziggy and Momo aren't really here with us. Maybe we'll see them later. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.